Hey everyone, I'm Paul Kassab. I'm a story artist here at Like a Photo and Creative, and today we'll be drawing Carrie the ringtailed possum. So the first thing I want to do is identify the major shapes. So with Carrie, I can see she's got a really round kind of head, and then for her body, it's kind of like this triangle with soft edges. And you can see I'm not really focusing about the, the details just yet, and I can easily get caught up with the furs and the tufts, but for the moment, we're just looking at the general shape. Awesome, so now that we have the general shape of Carrie, we can focus on what kind of pose she's in. This pose here, which I think was done by Kate, she's put in a very sort of optimistic, happy pose. She's put her arm out and she's very full of energy, but for us, let's make it a bit different and make her put both her hands out. So something like that. Cool, we can start placing in her ears. And then of course, we can't forget Carrie's tail. In our film, The Wishmas Tree, Carrie's always using her tail to zip around and it just gives her a lot of character. It kind of has its own life. You can start placing her feet in and maybe giving an indication of her hand as well. Finally, before we jump into the details, we'll start to block out her eyes. Um, now, Carrie has these really classic eyes where they're very sort of round and really simple, but they emote quite a fair bit. And again, this is just a nice simplification of this highly detailed character. But it gives us an indication of who Carrie is and what kind of personality she has. What I would do then, now that I have this rough sketch, is I can go in and actually start placing some cleanup lines and just a bit more detail. Even our animators tried to keep in mind when trying to bring Carrie to life, was, you know, how do you convey this young kid is full of life and energy, how do you convey that in, in a still image? Especially with Carrie's design, we tried to think of shapes and, and different sort of forms within her design that communicates a lot of movement, even if she's just standing still. Now, we started off with like a, a soft sort of circle, but I think it'd be nice to give it a bit more definition. Uh, one of the easiest ways to do that is just to bring in some creases near the area of the cheek and the face. Now we're bringing in her eyes and her mouth. Now the one thing about Carrie that she has that we don't really see too much with the other characters is her teeth and they're really sort of pronounced and fang-like. I think our character designer when he was creating her really wanted to, to, to show that sense of um, ferocity, that kind of wild side of Carrie. So having those teeth actually show um, really brings that out. And there we have Carrie. So something you can do now once you have your general outline for your character old and up is you can come in and add in some color. Uh, color for this purpose isn't really necessary, but um, you know, it can always help just to go in with a very rough pass and give an indication of what kind of color your character has. So if there's someone who's very cute and friendly and full of life, they might have a lot of nice, bright, saturated colors. But then if they're a character who's quite old, maybe very grisly and not as happy, you can use a lot of darker colors, a lot of reds, a lot of browns. So with the eyes, um, since we're talking about color, something that you see with a lot of cartoons and a lot of animated films is that there's this white flicker that comes off to the side, just a little white dot on the eye. And the reason we place that in is two reasons. Uh, the first is that it, it's supposed to emulate what happens in real life, where if you have a reflective surface, it catches light. So our eyes are very reflective. Um, so it brings in a bit of realism. And then the second reason is that it just gives a bit more life. You know, it gives it a bit of depth to the eyes. It's not just this flat surface. So there we have it, guys. It's a really simple version of Carrie. Hopefully you could follow along and you can sort of see what we think about when we create these characters and realize that when you go to draw a character like Carrie, you don't have to get every single detail right. It's more about um, understanding the key shapes of the character and that comes from understanding what makes the character themselves. Oh, before we finish, I'll have to sign off on this one as well. So it's always important to sign on your drawings. There we go. Okay guys, that's how you draw Carrie from The Wish Mystery. For more exciting content, make sure you check out visitsanctuarycity.com.